All right, welcome back. Stuff, 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 stuff. <laughs> Made more coffee. It is quite hot. And made breakfast too. So it's been like, I don't know, half an hour since I paused. And things are going just about as you would expect. Almost done with components. Yo, Valerie is doing great work. Probably one of the highest crafting skills we have. If we could get some limestone, that would be fan friggin' tastic. I guess we won't. Will it always be? No, that can't be the case. Because we get slate out of here. We got granite out of there. Vitals monitor, that's also good. Um, why don't you build me one? Is that miss? Yeah. So that, that'll be a lot better for us <clears throat> in regards to them getting sick. Um, probably going to grab another one. What is this? I know what it is. Um, when placed directly adjacent. Yeah, um, I'm going to change all these to hospital beds, by the way, but when they say directly adjacent, like if I put a vital monitor here, um, will that affect both of these? Or does it need to be like right next to the head by the pillow? I don't know. We're going to need steel for this. I would like to build copies, probably. Okay. That's going to take a lot of steel <clears throat> and a lot of components, which means we're going to end up using even more steel to make the replacement components. And we still need to get this generator up and going. It's coming. Yo, that just used like half of my components. Or did you guys put some down here? No, none. Well, let him go. We are much lower on food than I wish we were. Can you use weapons? You can. And I have not yet built... What is it, like a smithy? Cougar 1's up to 3 now, which is real nice. So basically it was meat that was our issue. Unfortunately, it's going to be a long time before we get meat uh, again. Um, I don't know. I should have looked up some of the intricacies of consuming infected meat or straight up zombie meat. Yo, sterile materials is awesome though. Floor me, daddy. I want a sterile tile. <laughs> 
set for research labs. However, I think our research is at a point where now that I got over the hump, there's going to be stuff that we need. However, what always happens is I end up researching way too much. Or I'm usually, everything gets researched fairly quickly, like within like the first five years or something like that. And then I just have nothing to research anymore, so I'm, I'm not even going to bother with it. Specialized firearms. Service rifle. We can still do heavy weapons. Oh, we can make a doomsday rocket, huh? Man, do I hate those. I could have probably have crafted some of these steel turrets out of uranium. That might be for next time. Because we're getting a decent chunk of uranium. So now this is not letting me do world pawns anymore. It did before, did you remember that? I don't know what that's about. Did I accidentally click the debug only thing? Oh well. I think our game speed's running pretty okay. It took about an hour to get through this entire season. Plus I was doing some pausing in between to do some stuff. Yeah. It seems to be running fine. Probably playing the game for any longer than two hours at a time before restarting. Uh, that sucks. Like, how hurt are you? I think you did it on purpose because you just want more, more stuff. She's 71. I didn't realize that. Yo, the clean room. Thirty-seven percent. It's still a little dirty in here. We might not be finished yet, by the way. Thirty-two percent with that dirt cleaned up. That's real good. That's the lowest I've ever had it. I've never done the sterile floor before. I always have a usually a bigger hospital room which obviously makes it more expensive but this was pretty cheap okay so we are having issues with power and I would like to fix that but it's taking a little bit
what if I told you to stop making these for a minute? Cougar 2 is wearing some good stuff. Cougar 1 is 5 out of 5. We're almost out of meat. But that's fine. That'll give us half a year before the, they decay. So... Not so worried about it. Zombies just freaking all over. Rape? Nope, more zombies. What's that make it? Uh, 170. That's a lot. Yeah, okay. Like, don't target the zombies. They're like... 40 right there. Growing season's here now. Get my corn going.
Good job, guys. All planted. They're not trained in that yet. Okay. We are out of meat, so there's not going to be any more training. Unless I slaughter this thing. <clears throat> Which, we could. I was going to try taming it, but... might just try killing it. That doesn't sound very nice, but like at the same time. Nah, you know, we should at least get the turrets popped up over here first. 360 meat will go a long way though, but for the time being we have him in our back pocket. We could probably consider making a little animal, like another quarantine zone, like another patch of wall. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll forget it. I would like some animals to flood in at times, just so we can have them in reserve, but it's probably not going to happen. If I had some animals specifically for slaughtering, um, like the deer for instance, if I had a... male deer? Yo, there's a- wait, hold on. There's a lot of gazelle over here, but there's also a good few zombies. Yeah, there's too many zombies. And I have no good way to get through here. This was a pain in the ass to fill in. More zombies. How is that possible? I had a soft count. Uh, I guess they're dying. How are you guys not going into manhunter mode? They are now. These zombies just freaking beat the shit out of them. They don't get knocked down, obviously, so... <clears throat> they killed one. Surprisingly enough. Wow, you guys did it. Oh, okay, well now there's just a shitload more. So, GG. We have some power issues. You're not wrong. Let's turn this off. 
That's 450 right there. We still have plenty of wood. That being said, might as well chop while we can. Everything here is growing. Okay. You pregnant again? No. Not at all. You guys are allowed, right? Restrict, everybody's restrict the home. Which is fine. Huh. We might consider doing some walkways or I can just wait until we have the geothermal I want to kind of preemptively get prepared for the possibility of toxic fallout um, pretty much just make a area for them to walk Oh, but I want it to look nice. Oh. Look nice and maybe set up some uh, outdoor lamps. Do we have those researched yet? We don't. What would that take? Yo, and also get medicine production up and running. Oh, huh, what? We did, okay. Okay. Um, Could also probably get better. We need like a rec room. I just don't know where I want to put it. Potentially right here. But I don't want to 
do any more orders until they're done building. Done building, done mining. We almost have enough steel. We only have 160 meals until this is grown. No joke, we might actually run out of food. Harvest that. I might have to buy food. There is no way in hell that we have enough time for this. Um, like for the time being, plant me some rice. We had about 5,000 in reserve, so it looks like I need to have more in reserve. And this is only with a colony of six. Granted, I also have like four or five animals, like five animals, so it's kind of like a colony of more. I don't think animals eat as much as people do. Could be wrong. In any case, the rice will hold us over. It's already 9.3% grown and we just planted it. Corn's gonna take a little bit. That's 32%. I don't like how the rice is not in line. Two fifty. Why are you guys not prioritizing that? Oh, well, we still don't have enough, okay. But we're close. And get me at 5.50 and I expect you guys to start working. That's 44% used. Or rather, 44% left. Which is not a lot. Um... About to see where I could put it. Like probably right here, but that's like such a crappy location. But a second one. A second one should take us to the end of the game. This one already lasted about three years, maybe four. We might be just about rounding the corner into our fourth year. Yeah, we are.
Can you guys stop? Yeah, thanks. I don't know why it's going so slow again. Light scar? Oh, you've always. <sighs> what can I do about that? Is it exoskeleton that replaces torso? It's not a big deal to me. I'm just curious. Still gonna take another full day, but they're going. We've still yet to have any sieges. It might benefit us to build another one of these. In the event that we do. steel.
It's actually going along pretty fast. We've done it. Our wealth has just barely gotten past a hundred thousand. That being said, I feel like we're in a much more comfortable position. Um, I'm gonna build you guys a rec room. Would you like that? <sighs> Make it out of sandstone. Hope you're proud of yourself. Okay, um, 
I could probably get rid of all of these now, right? Or do I keep them? Turn them off for now? So, now we only have 3,000 excess. But we can have that in the event we need it. In case stuff happens. Also, gosh, do we need limestone? Um, flagstone looks better than sandstone tile, right? I think flagstone looks better. hell am I gonna do with this I guess in the event of a uh, thing of a thing we don't necessarily need them to go out to the fields or anything like that so it should be fine however that's exactly where I was gonna put my quarry when we run out so who knows if need be I can absorb this area here into our fold. I could also dig into the rocks a little bit, but I am a little reluctant to do so. That's what that's going to look like. Do we like that? Does that look ugly? I think it's fine. It's fine. Um, structure, why don't you give me some slate walls?
it's not perfect but sometimes it's just it, where it seems like it fits in one spot it doesn't fit directly across from the other one so we'll take a look and then we'll see zone me Pete? No, Cosmic. Glitter World Medicine. Holy crap, they're price gouging us. They don't want to buy anything. Like, I need a lot of this stuff. But I don't need any of the drugs. I could stand... You know, for a trader, this guy's got, like, not a lot. Ugh. I don't want it. I don't want any of them. Get back to making stuff, though. Tell me what I can or cannot do. Cut down the tree. Elk, right? sandstone. Who would have thought? Oh my god, another relationship. Sorry, your sister is incapable of dumb labor, so... What's his face? Bellman. I mean, you've been with us from the beginning. All of you guys have. I mean, uh, the original three, anyway. I want to watch this. I don't think they understand. Like, Bellman, you're going to be upset for a little while. No doubt about it. But, like... They got fucked. That just pulled all the zombies. So at least they're out of this immediate area. And they pulled all from this area. Not that this area is anywhere we can get to. Still some zombies over here. Ah oh, well. Um Yeah. I need more lights. Now it looks so dark. Like I wish you could toggle the roof. This will be good for us in the event of toxic fallout. It just I think it looks ugly having it so dark in there. Oh <sighs> but I guess that will change. I could put, 
I could put wall lights. Instead of like street lamps. I totally could do that. Can't see. Being chased by tribes people. She begs for safety. 27 years old. Um one berserker chief, nine berserker, seven warriors. Gorman. Uh sluggish kind of sucks. Melee cooking plants. Um to be honest, I wish she she has like no major passions in anything, so sorry dude. Uh, I'm going to ignore this. Sorry. Maybe you should have, like, had a better resume. We'll see. Uh, power. Subsurface. While they do this, I'm going to go get more coffee.
Okay. I guess nothing terrible happened. Um, I think right now this is probably our most vulnerable area. I was going to consider making another wall. However, of all the areas that we could be infiltrated from, this is probably the best area. Can you guys? Okay, that's almost harvested, so we almost got some food going. Which is good because the corn's not really close at all. Jesus Christ, dude. You botched like five fucking times. What do you think? Rice just grows on trees? This actually should have... I don't know. I was probably just going to end up deleting this zone. Steel. I know where it's all going though. Our walkway's almost finished. It's looking pretty okay from here. Speaking of which, where are the zones? So they're out here. <sighs> if we were to have somebody that was seeking shelter, I'd probably have to say no. Just because I don't know what to do with them. I have no good way of getting them in. I probably could, if I was smart, I could snake them in through here, but we have a zombie lord. We have a couple right here. So for the time being, it's not a good time for rescuing. Like I have a safe containment center I could make like right here, but that's right next to the zombies, so. I don't know. There's, they spread out so much, like they were so consolidated over here, and now they spread out again. What I really need is to get raided. Like a big group of tribes people, even, coming in. And pirates. I feel like it's been so long. And that's because it has. 164. It's been over 20 days since we got raided. And that was just a mass animal insanity. Infestation. We haven't been enemy raided for about 40 odd days. And I don't know why. We're on rough, so it's not like not. Oh, 
Oh, sitting in this chair is gonna kill me. I gotta buy something for my monitors, I think. Like a secondary stand to put on top of my desk to elevate my monitors up like another five inches. Like four or five inches would be friggin' perfect. I could probably build something. I could probably build something to do that. And just paint it. It's just, I don't know. Looking down all the time, I had the same problem at my old job. Oh, they had a bookcase in the uh, office area filled with old books, like, that were, you know, 20 plus years out of date and nobody used, but some of them were really thick, so I just, you know, put them down on my bed, or on my desk, and put the monitors on top of it, and that helped out a little bit of not having to constantly look down. That's still so much steel that we need for the subsurface conduits. We had so much steel before when we sold it all. It'd be real nice to pick that steel up. There's also a boatload in here, but it concerns me. Did you guys build all my stuff? They built the TV, so you guys should be in better spirits, I imagine. Recreation satisfied. Very impressive rec room. Yeah, thanks. I uh, built it myself. Somewhat impressive. Okay, well, you know. It's getting there. Rugs was another thing that I wanted to get. I gotta make a list, a running list, a notepad or something, of mods that I want to do, because what happens is I'm not a fan of incorporating new mods in the middle of the game, and by the time I end up finishing my game, like last time I took like a two week, two or three week break from playing, because I had other stuff going on that was just sucking the life out of me. Um, So I kind of forgot like all the things that I thought would be nice. Nutramine, I know it was something I complained about a lot when I was going full bore into drug production, which maybe we're not going to do anymore. Um, I don't know. I'm beginning to wonder, what will happen if we end up getting mechs dropping down in here? Because they would probably drop down in this area. I got no defenses for that. I have animals, but they're not yet at the point where they can be trained to kill. Yet. Um... The biggest thing I could see is probably having everybody run out here, into this area, and ha hopefully our turrets can do some damage. That's where we are at our most vulnerable.
It would probably be helpful if we built a bunker facing this direction, like right here. A bunker facing this direction, shooting this. I mean, you can't say. Shooting from here to out to here, and possibly a secondary bunker from here shooting out in this way, I think is probably going to be our best bet. If I deconstruct this grave, are we going to have dead bodies? Can't I just build on top of it? What if I said yes? So you can't. What a load of actual human garbage. I don't have I don't have the steel nor the resources for this or the or the walls. You guys run and do your own stuff for a little while. Is there any sales going on? I hate that, well, it, the game's in full screen, but I hate that it minimizes when I click out. We're at 11, we're at like 14, 13 frames per second. That's slow. I thought that would lower it, but it's still like, no, that went to like 10. Humble Bundle has something new out. The good thing is I can still see what's going on the screen from OBS. Uh, bundle. I guess there isn't a new one out. What the hell is that? Medicine production, cool. Basically, we can't do anything until we get some more steel, so more steel, more sandstone. They are completely finished now with the sandstone walkway, though.
Kingdom Under Fire 2. I've never heard of it. Is that an MMO? <laughs> I have no idea. It's 99 friggin' dollars. War God Edition. Okay. It is an M massively multiplayer strategy RPG. Okay, and that came with a bunch of DLC. It looked kind of cool. If it was like a civilization, if it was something like, um, what was it, like Three Kingdoms that just came out, that war game. That looks kind of cool. I don't know. I really wish God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think those are pretty much the two. Uh, is there another one? Those are the two main ones that I really wish would just come to Steam, and they never will. I do have a PS4, but it's packed away. And I haven't played it since Final Fantasy XV. Oh, I just... It's so much more convenient playing on the computer. I still use a controller for a lot of games on the computer and play from bed, but, like... I don't know. I don't like having to have another console set up in the room. It's probably going to be set up downstairs whenever my living room's sorted out. So maybe I'll buy it then, but for the time being, plus it's cumbersome, like, those probably aren't games I would even record anyway. There's some games where it's just nice to play without having to talk and just, like, do your own thing. One game, probably the best game that I've played to date on the PS4, is The Last of Us. I did not record that, and I don't, I, first off, I am bad at shooting games, even though that's like third person shooter and it's like survival incorporated, but I'm bad at shooting to begin with, and games with zombies such as like Resident Evil spook me, like I, I'm not good under pressure, I will flip out, freak out, shoot at the ceiling. It would have been, and that's not exactly what happened when I was playing through The Last of Us, but basically it would be me. If you're familiar with my Dishonored series, I think you have like some special sort of sight. You can see the... Okay. Uh, you can see through walls and stuff like that, like special hearing. It was basically me holding that down the entire time and creeping around because I was just like freaking paranoid of something popping out around the corner. Clickers when they were like going bitch crazy and screaming at you. Um, and then this one particular, particular area within the game where you're in the darkness and there's these like runners freaking freaked me out. To be fair, I didn't I didn't play on normal. I didn't play it on the hardest difficulty, because I think you had to play through once to unlock that, but I played it on I guess like the next to hardest difficulty. Um 
it was a really good game though. I got super attached to the characters. Um, I was really into it. It really felt like you were struggling to survive and every, not every interaction, but a lot of the interactions on the map, it was very strategic, sneaking around, creeping up behind people. If you had like four or five enemies on the map, it's kind of like a puzzle to see like, okay, I can take this guy out without alerting the other ones and then like one by one try and pick them off as opposed to having like just a brawl and outright shooting. Um, then there was a ton of looting, so exploring every corner. Those are things I like to do when I'm playing something, but on camera it would kind of take away my fun because I don't feel anybody wants to watch somebody that is looting everything and checking every corner because they don't know if there's something good hiding around the corner or not. People who've already seen or played through the game already know like there's nothing there dude. Why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting my time? But when you're playing, you don't know that. Um, so that's a type of game. I have watched some people play. I probably watched people play at least three different people play Let's Plays on it. Just because there's some areas in that game where I was struggling. Um, and for some fun, it was nice to see some people struggle as well. For instance, I think there's an, a portion of the game where you're hanging upside down and you have to like, you're swaying and you have to shoot zombies that are coming after you. Um, that took me probably three tries to get it. Um, there was also one instance where you're sneaking past a bunch of clickers. They had my heart pounding. I think I failed that four or five times. Like, I, I got exactly where I had to go, but when when I got there, there was some sort of interaction. I, some sort of something to do with a ladder or something. And I, I didn't realize that's what you had to do. I was just like, I'm here. What now? And then... I think there was another one. You might have been inside of a cabin. In, uh, you either had a bow or you had a rifle, a sniper rifle, and you kind of had to like shoot from the windows like if anything got too close. Mm. And then another one you were on a house using a sniper rifle, shooting at a bunch of zombies that were coming towards you. That one sucked. Was it zombies or was it actual people? Regardless, there's like some difficult parts in the game, but... Overall, it was a lot of fun. And playing as Ellie, Elle, Ellie, um, when she was on her own, that was a ton of fun as well. I had so much more respect for her. Like, before she was just kind of, like, whiny and bratty. She wasn't really bratty, but she was, I don't know, she seemed like a burden. But she really pulled through and helped save Joel, and then she got... I don't know, I don't want to spoil everything, even though it's like an old game. But The Last of Us 2 is something that I would like to play, even though I actually don't very know much about The Last of Us 2 and what they're going to do. I don't know who the characters are in it. Um, I assume it's going to be a time skip. I don't think Joel's going to be a part of it. I could be wrong. I really don't know. I think it's going to be a time skip for like an older L. Ellie. Um, which is fine. I don't usually like that. I like direct continuations, but... But yeah. It's a good game. Had my heart... I don't know. I probably lost a couple years off my life playing that game. It's not necessarily that it was that spooky. It's just... Things popping around corners, or just putting yourselves in really stressful situations really gets like my adrenaline coursing.
Plus, I play like super conservatively, like trying to like min max ammo because I don't want to run out of ammo. So like by the end of the game, I had a I had a bunch of ammo, which came in handy towards the end of the game. But I could have probably made things a lot easier on myself by not like saying, not by not having some guns be too good to use, basically. Mm. Those lights look so much better. It's like there's not even a thing. There's not even a roof there. I would like to build more. Can you build me one here? In here? Did you guys not put any here? Or here. No. No, there's actual things there. How about up here? You just decided, uh, screw it, must not. Okay. Interesting choice, but... Don't think I would have done that. Can you only have one per? That's not... That's not true. It is true. Okay, then we'll just have it like that. I gotta tell you, that looks pretty okay. IMO. Is it perfect? No. But I'm not a perfect kind of person. Excuse me. Why do you have no food? You have food. Are you Cougar 3? You know, there's beds over here. Are you stuck on there? No, you're sleeping. I don't understand. Go get some food. Where's this roofed area now? Okay, so that's completely all roofed. Good. Where was that really starved one? Is that you? Yeah, it's you. We only have 60 meals again. Holy crap. I can't believe that. It's a good thing we had the secondary rice because I deleted this. We would have been in trouble. I can't believe how much food we're going through. I'm actually almost concerned. Maybe we should grow potatoes while we have the time. Maybe we should grow some potatoes because we have the time. Anyway, back to browsing.
Total Warfare? Is that what it was called? We don't have the research thing. What do we need? Complex? Sure. I don't know if we need hydroponics. I would prefer not to. Because I don't want to build a sun lamp. Okay, what the fuck was that? I mean, good luck. Don't need tactical grenades, uranium slug turret. Could be good. Do we really though? Maybe advanced bionics. An auto cannon turret. Organ transplants. no prisoners cells because we don't need it well thanks okay so we can make assault rifles now So let's start working on this, this, this. Sure. 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 Sure, sure. 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 Keep you busy for the rest of your life. Um, can't help but notice, I really need some meat. I need a bulk goods trader. Honestly, I just need to get raided. Like, how long has it been? 60. It's been almost 30 days. can't do anything. <sighs> what are these? You guys want to come in? I almost feel like if we could lure them in with some food, that'd be awesome. Harvest this. I don't know. It's a shame because they're so close and we could probably almost get away with it, but... this designate build me I have five people Five people who can are capable of violence. Let's 
so we'll outfit them with some actual weapons. That's still only ever going to be for when we get raided and we have to defend our base. Hunting outside is still going to take place with bows and Pila. Pila. Can't believe how low on steel we are. I don't know where it all goes. If I were to build a copy, where could I put it? Oh, okay. So I can put it out here. I thought it had to be specifically... So we could put one over here too. And one in here. Uh, I need, oh, and in here. Okay, so at least we know where to go with it. We have plenty of space for it. And then you have people Like me, who wasn't even aware that PS5 was coming out. I guess we, we still have like another year. Oh, but I feel like I bought, like I, I've had PS1, PS2, PS3. And I played a good bit of all of those. PS4 I got about one, one or maybe two years after it released. And I think I only bought four or five games total. Infamous was one, The Last of Us was another. Um, I don't think I got Street Fighter for it. That was on PS3. Final Fantasy. I bought the Kingdom Hearts remastered for it, for 1 and 2, because I played 1 but I never played 2. I'm actually only like a couple hours into 2. I don't like it. I liked 1 a lot. I don't like the second one very much. I might not... I, maybe I haven't played enough of it. I just... It's not as fun as I remember. <laughs> Like Kingdom Hearts 1, I really enjoyed. And I played that in my 20s as well. For the first time. And I, I went enough to like... I don't know if I beat Sephiroth. I might not, but like I, I beat enough of the tournaments to get up to him. Which was like a lot. There was a lot to do with that. So I was fairly proficient at the gameplay but I feel like I just forgot everything like it, it, the controls don't feel good to me why would Steam tell me broadcasting is enabled after two and a half hours of playing this game I just, I can't believe how fucked on food we would have been 
had I not planted that rice, that second rice portion. 75%, 77. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, dude. We're at a hundred meals. And I got I got nothing in the reserve. Can I harvest any of these? Yeah, the only ones that are harvestable are outside. Speaking of which, none of you guys can get out there, right? I'm so concerned about that. I think my games is bugged. I don't really, but like, when was the last time we had anything bad happen? been like half a year this is now this guy can be killed since we have the turrets set up uh, apparently we don't so what do I know what if I let him over here I really do need to kill you. I'm sorry, dude. But I'm concerned about what would happen when zombies start hearing gunshots. Are they gonna start beating down on my walls? So I don't know if having turrets is gonna be a good idea. Yeah, I know. You're real upset. Negative 18 for the next 30 days. You understand, guy, that uh, there are zombies all outside? You want to expose me to that? Or yourself? almost feel like we're going to be in trouble with our food problems. I think you need to die. Bowman is too in too bad of a place, I think, to be of great help. I think you gotta go, go. I need everybody can find
should go down soon. Can't believe how fast it is. That worked out pretty well. That'll give us like 360 meat. That'll keep my cougars happy. train they've used so much meat already I think that's because they're keeping some of it in their They're keeping some in their stuff. Inventory. That's usually what that word is. Okay, we were waiting for this. Luckily, they'll probably get fucked. Yeah, they're gonna be in trouble. They're gonna be pulling zombies from across the pretty map. Unfortunately, it's in an area So sieges aren't going to be an issue for us God damn it, I was really hoping Because this area is going to be screwed for us. We can't we can't go here. We can't hunt here That's my ideal position
to hunt stuff from. It's an issue that there are some here. Like, a lot. If we had left that to zombies can hear for like two or three hours, they would have circled all the way around. We would have been done. That wasn't the case, though. And I'm okay with that. There's always going to be drawbacks. What? Humble Bundle Book Pack. Cybersecurity Book Pack. 
That's above my pay grade. Um, right. Why have we been in one this whole time? Why didn't none of you tell me? I'm sorry. I think we're closing out on stuff. Closing out on what? Closing out on the episode. I'm sorry. Reading text, my brain is just half elsewhere. Trying to build like a TV console for downstairs in the living room. Like, so the TV stand can sit on top of something. <laughs> Trying to look at designs. I got a coffee table I picked up from my grandmother's over the weekend. Was it? No, that was like last Thursday. Um, a little bit in rough shape, but after refinishing it, smoothing down any of the scratches, now I have some paint, some black paint that's going to be ordered. It should look pretty sharp once it's fixed up. And then I have a bookcase that needs to be repainted. Ugh. Then the living room should pretty much be completed. Not that I even use a living room, but it'll look good. It'll look complete instead of just an empty room. I mean, there's a couch in there right now, but like that's essentially it. I have a new dining set coming in a couple of weeks. Should be exciting. Not that I even entertain very much, but now I have the opportunity to. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to call it here. I was going to wait until they harvested corn, but I got to save and do some stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and, you know, we'll be back. Bye.